This is M. And this is Ken. And this is just your typical boy meets girl. Boy and girl become BFFs. Straight up BFFs. For life. Girl asks boy to make some top five lists. Boy decides to film it. And an internet sensation was born. Dozens will be entertained. This is our podcast. Top five battle royale with cheese. With cheese. And welcome to M and Ken's Top Fives Battle Royale with cheese. Cheese. <laughs> uh, thank you for joining us. Uh, if you've joined us in the past, you know M and I here, BFFs for life. Uh, each week we take a topic and we pick our top five of that topic. And then we battle it out uh, extra cool style. I don't know what that means, but... Um, and uh, and we talk about our uh, top fives and whatnots. Because everybody... Everybody's got top five. Everybody's got top everybody's five. Everybody's got top five. Absolutely. So today, I get to pick the topic. You did? Because last week we had uh, an epicness of, uh, <laughs> of, of sorts. Epicness um, of silliness. Yep. And I picked bands. Bands. Top five bands. You go into a concert... The greatest music festival ever, five bands of all time that you could have. Only bands, no solo artists, no, none of that stuff. Only bands, top five. All right. What would they be? Are we ready? I'm ready. All right. So since uh, I got to pick the topic, Emily gets to choose heads or tails from our amazing Harvey Dent two-face coin. Harvey Dent is uh, four and one. Yes. Uh, I'd just like to point he that out. He did lose. He did lose finally last week after a epic four-game winning streak. And uh, you ready? I'm going. Uh, going Harvey. Two face. Oh, two in a row. Two face no. with a with a with a little win streak of his own going on there. Look at that. Yeah, fancy, fancy, fancy. Oh. I won. I which go means first. M has to go first. So let's hear your number five favorite band. All right, top five bands. That was it. Was kind of hard. I had a really difficult time. This was kind of a difficult it was, one. It was hard. Um, I. Picked Saving Abel as my number five. Okay. Okay. Um, I'm trying to think who it was that I saw them with the first time. I mean, they were an opening act for something. They had that, uh, um, oh my god, I don't even remember the song is now. Yeah, I have no idea who that is. <laughs> Seriously? So. Um, um, beneath the Sheets. I can't, my favorite song is New Tattoo, so I got nothing. But anyways, they, I saw them as an opening band somewhere. They were awesome. Um, loved them. They're from the South. Oh, kind of cool. Mm -hmm. I don't know. This is where you're going to insert their song, right? No. No. Great. No. <laughs> no. We, we, need, we need a higher budget. No, you, YouTube it. Yeah, okay. YouTube it. You're already on the YouTube. YouTube <laughs> it. That's a good point. What do Saving I have to do all the work? Come on, New man. New Tattoo. It's a good song. New Tattoo. Yeah. yeah. Saving Able. I will, uh, I'll Google that later. <laughs> Since I have one to pick obscure if, names. If you had to, uh, pick, um, like, a band, like, to compare them to that I would probably know. Um... I just like Southern Rock. Southern Rock. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You're right. I have Southern Rock on my list. All right, good. I'm ready. This is an awesome band. Um, and uh, my number five, uh, they were uh, only around for a short time. The lead singer left, created his own uh, niche, and he's one of the greatest legends in music history. Uh, one of the greatest bands in Motown history, Smokey Ooh, Robinson and, and the Miracles. Love it. Huge Motown fan growing up. Like, mm -hmm. amazing, like, the Four Tops and the um, the Temptations and stuff like that. The the, uh, the Jackson 5. I was just going to say, I'm really, I'm all of a sudden really sad I didn't pick the Jackson 5. Yeah. I, I was trying to pick between, like, yeah. it, was, it was between that and the Temptations. Right. And I just kind of was like, you know what? Uh, when I think about it. Like, one of my favorite songs of all time is Tears of a Clown. Yeah. Uh, Mickey's Monkey. Uh, just amazing songs. Could not, uh, couldn't, couldn't leave them off the list. So, number five, Smokey Robinson and the Miracles. That's good. I am pretty much classic. Can I just say that right off the yeah. bat? And I'm sort of not, so that's okay. Yeah, you know, so. All right, cool. All right, my number four. My number four is uh, Better Than Ezra. Better, I love Better Than Ezra. Yay! Good, so at least you know who it is, right? Uh huh. Okay. Good, right? Good, good was like their, their big song, but they've made incredibly awesome music since then. Um, also, Southern Rock. Um, love them. They're um, actually, uh, I don't know, I've had like every CD they ever had. Um, they haven't come to tour here in a long time. Are Michigan. they even still together? Yeah, I mean, as far as I know, they, they still... played at the House of Blues. I don't think it's, like, I think a lot of guys have like traded in and out. 
you know, but it's still like the main singer. And um, otherwise, but they're good. I knew like like in high school, I knew every song. In college, I knew like everything, and it's good. I like them. I still like them today. I have one of they their pop albums. up on my iPod, and I'm like, you. Yeah. I have King one of, of their New albums. Orleans. King of New Orleans, Best. Is a great song. I, I wish I could think of the name of the song. One of their, I, I love one of their songs. Like uh, I have, I have, I have a couple of their albums. Mm -hmm. uh, well, CDs back in the day. I don't think I've had anything. Uh... Did Butterfly, the Butterfly CD. Yeah, 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 Butterfly. yeah. That was the one that, that I had. Mm -hmm. That was the one I had. I think like track number four on that CD. If you look that up for me, I know what that is. <laughs> so, uh, my number four band. Um, I traveled to the uh, Rock and Roll Hall of Fame okay. uh, a couple years ago, and I really picked this uh, trip. Uh, my best friend and I went uh, for a weekend. We went to Cleveland and uh, went to the Rock and Roll of Fame, and I mainly went because they had a special uh, exhibit on the Clash. Oh yeah, uh, love the Clash. Uh, the I'm not a punk rocker, right? Um, but uh, I love the Clash. Uh, London Calling is one of the greatest albums of all time. Um, uh, it just they're just amazing. They are the you know the the Amer America had the Ramones, right? Uh, and they kind of, you know, plowed the way and were like the punk band. And Britain had the Clash oh long before all of those others. Sex Pistols, you know, they were great, but the Clash they was were the, the greatest you, huh? punk rock band. And I love them. I said traveled to Cleveland. I went to Cleveland to see <laughs> the Clash in an exhibit. So why not, right? Yeah, great band. Love it. Uh, yeah, very so. good. Okay, my number three. My number three. My number three is um. Okay, so I went, got invited to this. Okay, back up. In high school, I saw them as an opening band. It just seems to be like a theme here, right? Uh, and they were decent. I knew like their one song. Got invited to go to their concert maybe like a year or so ago, and I was like, yeah, I know like one song. I knew the whole flipping concert and didn't even know they were like all them, right? So I got to give them some props. Uh, Our Lady Peace. First of all, they freaking rock the house. They do rock they the house. They were awesome. We saw them at um, the state, which is not the state anymore, the Fillmore, yeah. right? Yeah. We saw them at the Fillmore. So great venue, great, great music venue. Um, and I swore I was like, yeah, I'll know, like two songs. I knew like everything but two. I was like, everything they played, I'm like, oh my God, this is Our Lady Peace. Oh my God, this is Our Lady Peace. It totally was. It was uh, great. Yeah, they're, well, they're, they're a great band. <laughs> I have like dozens of their songs on my MP3 player. Yeah. And I'm um, kicking myself for not putting them on my list. Yeah. I didn't even think their last album that came out uh, is awesome. just amazing. Yeah. I, I absolutely love it, and they're a great band. Even you know, for a Canadian band, mm -hmm. I don't know why I said that. Did now we didn't see them together. We we saw a lot of concerts. In I saw school, the okay. The one I don't we think who they opened for. <laughs> You're gonna laugh. Nikki and I went to see. Uh, shout out Nikki. Right. Nikki Royce. What up, no? All right. Uh, we saw uh, Third Eye Blind. Girl, if you remember that concert. Third Eye Blind. I was, was not at that concert. <laughs> that was a rough concert. You know, no, no. Kenny and I went to see Hootie and the Blowfish together. Third row. Yeah, we did. Psh. And who got bumped up to front row for the for the for the encore? This Boo, guy. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Boo, yeah, yeah. <laughs> right. We went to a lot of concerts. We did. In high they, you know what? We we were just talking about it before we started shooting. Actually, we were talking about how. Um, you know, stuff we did in high school, stuff we never would have done in high school. One thing we did do in high school, we watched lots of movies and lots and lots okay, of Okay, we did not watch lots of movies. I should <laughs> throw that out there. In the we did not watch lots of movies. We watched Billy Madison a <laughs> like lot. Like a hundred times. <laughs> a lot. In Stephanie Woods' basement with Scott Marcioni, mm -hmm. watching, and then we would we would, we would would pick quote the it. characters that we were going to quote, <laughs> yes. and only Scott could quote Billy Madison, and only, you know... So, uh, it was, uh, I think we need to do a Billy Madison Oh my god, like a little get together? Top five list. Oh, yeah. I thought we should just well, rewatch. it. Well, we've been planning that for years. Oh, I mean, right, unfortunately, right. you know, one of our four is all out the way out in freaking Colorado. Mm -hmm. Um, but, uh, yeah. So we didn't watch a lot of movies, but we did go yeah. to a lot of concerts. <laughs> Billy Madison quotes, that would be fun. That would be a fun episode. We went yeah. to a lot of concerts, and I'm just trying to think, off the top of your head, what was your favorite concert moment uh, in high school with favorite, the concerts that we went to? Favorite concert moment? Because there was a few. There were a ton. There was Dave Matthews. Dave was just going to say, was... Dave Matthews was pretty good. Um, all, like, the 150 Bare Naked Ladies concerts we went to, <laughs> where it was, like, freaking pouring rain, and we were, of course, on the lawn because we were in high school and had no money. Uh, and, like, you were just 
like drenched you know, see, we in had a lot cheese. Of, remember, Stephanie's dad got us tickets, and we were we would move to the lawn sometimes, and sometimes we'd be on the lawn. But a lot of times we had seats because we had her dad's company's tickets. Remember? Yeah, occasionally. Yeah. But the uh, the one I'm thinking of is the when it, it was pouring rain, yes, and we were that on was, the that specific concert was pouring rain. We were sitting on the on the lawn, and we were. Just, I mean, because they macaroni and cheese. Yeah, they, we were just you know, Red Bear Ladies Concert. They throw cheese, macaroni and cheese, in, like the the. Nasty People like to take the powder, powder, and, and it, it was just. I mean, like we had like dreadlocks of cheese in our hair. <laughs> we went with a, a friend of, of ours who had his cast on, <laughs> right. and when he got oh his, God. he had a cast and on his leg. Wait, no, 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 no. The best part is, is he drove. He drove. <laughs> It was his left leg. <laughs> he drove. He had a like cast on. It was crazy. He hobbled through he the uh, the DTE music energy whatever pine knob. Stop. It was pine knob. And, and it still is. Uh, and when he got his cast off, what was like it was like a month and a half later or something like that. His leg was orange <laughs> from Kraft macaroni and cheese powder. And uh, that was probably my favorite concert too. Oh, me too. Cause, just because it was so much fun and mm-hmm. just crazy and uh, totally ridiculous. Yeah. 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 Awesome, awesome, awesome. All right, my number three is um, the uh, the big rage nowadays is the super fans. Right, 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 right. You know, right. you get the... The side project. Yeah, you get the side project mm-hmm. with all the famous people. This is, I think, the original super band. Um, the Traveling Wilburys. Uh, no Roy, idea you don't know the Traveling Wilburys? No. Roy Orbison, Tom Petty, Jeff Lynn, uh, George Harrison. Yeah, they toured right before uh, Roy Orbison died. Okay. Uh, right before he died, they they got together and they used to get together and play. And uh, they started a band. There's somebody else in it that I can't think of. But yeah, it was uh, just an amazing. Like they had, a, I think they only had like two albums, maybe only one. But it was just an amazing. I remember cool. watching their videos as a kid and being like, who are these old guys? And I'm like, this song rocks. That's awesome. Um, and uh, Tom Petty's amazing. Uh, Love Tom Petty. Roy Orbison, George Harrison, my favorite Beatle. Mm-hmm. Um, so, yeah, just uh, Traveling Wilburys. Cool. The original super band. So. Pretty awesome. Number three. Wish I could have seen them live. That would have been awesome. Yeah. Oh, that would have been awesome. It sounds cool. I, I uh, will be YouTubing them shortly. Yeah. Very good. All right. My number, number two. two. My number two is Metallica. Metallica. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. First of all, you can laugh all you want. I don't. Care. I'm not. I'm not laughing at the pick. I don't see you as a Metallica number two kind of person. <laughs> Same kind of girl. Yeah. No, I don't. It's good. Uh, I mean, you know, we've all had. Uh, we kind of grew up with Metallica. You know, right. Sandman and all that kind of uh-huh. stuff. But uh, yeah, I, I would not picture you <laughs> as a Metallica fan. <laughs> I don't know if I want to stay a fan per se. Let me tell you why I chose them. First of all, a huge following, right? Yeah. They made yeah. tons and tons of money. I yeah. just felt like they needed to be somewhere on there. I don't know. I feel like that's pandering to the audience. Do you think? No, no, I do. No. I feel like, I mean, if you don't feel like they deserve to be up there, why no, would you I put do. them No, I do. That's there? why I put them up there. But I mean, why would you have... put them too if you don't, if you're not a big Metallica fan? Because they're, well, I wouldn't say not a Metallica fan. I shenanigans. I don't own, like, every shenanigans. album. Whatever. Shenanigans. I call shenanigans. But, like, okay, like, out of all of these bands, okay, first of all, nobody knows who these two are. And I, I if disagree. You, and, and I disagree. You think? I think indie-wise, they're very popular, especially amongst people who are in the 90s. They were huge in the 90s. Yeah, but then no one ever heard of them. So whatever. Yeah, okay. that's true. And then, and, and no one south of Indiana knows who these guys that's, are. That's accurate. Okay, Which is right? a shame. See? I know. And so I love these three bands, however... <laughs> I think you're pandering. No one, no, up this until is this pandering. point, no one has any idea who the heck I'm talking about. Pandering. Oh my goodness. All right, fine. Go I call on. shenanigans, what's your, what's your and tip? if you agree, leave a message in the comments. Okay. Pandering. Metallica. Name me five Metallica songs. And no, go. Yeah. See. I'm not being. I'm yeah, not. I'm not see? taking your bait. Let's go. All right. My number two is actually, um, my number one and number two are my favorite bands of all time, old school and new school. Okay. All right. I have seen this band in concert. Eight times. Eight times. Eight times I have seen this band in concert. Uh, they are amazing. Uh, it was hard to not put them at number one. Mm. Like, I went back and forth. But I had to put the legends at number one because they just, I mean, they're the legends. So, um, they are uh, on a hiatus of sorts, which is a shame. The lead singer went and had himself a, got himself a country music career. <laughs> Hootie and the Blowfish. Yes, Hootie. Uh, 
made all of my friends stand in line in high school uh -huh. for like three hours to go see Hootie and the Blowfish. Everybody's like, that'd be fun. Third row. And I'm like, let's let's get in line and early. And it paid off. We got third row tickets. Um, it was my, probably my third Hootie and the Blowfish show, I think. Right. Because I saw them twice the summer before. Did you? Yes. That was, I, I saw Hootie and the Blowfish with you. And then accidentally later on. <laughs> Accidentally? Yeah, right. I know, right? We went to, I, I don't even remember what concert it was. It was like one of those conglomerate radio show concerts okay. where it was like so and so, whatever. We were there and they kept saying, special guest, you know, oh, there's a new special headliner or whatever. I can't remember what. I want to say it was like a cancer benefit concert or something odd like that. Anyways, and we were all like, who is it? Who is it? And then Wait, it happened to be Hootie and the Blowfish. Was this concert at the. Uh, might have been at the amphitheater. Was it at the, uh, in Pontiac, mm -hmm. the Phoenix Center? I'm guessing yes. Was it the Q95 concert for a cure? It might be that one. That might have been it. I was backstage. No way. That's I awesome. got to meet Darius <laughs> backstage. I have a ticket. Okay, so signed. why did I accidentally, fill me in, why did I accidentally see them? Because they weren't supposed to be there? And then they, like, no, murder? they were supposed to be there. They, they, we couldn't announce, they could, we, like I still were, whatever. Uh, I used to intern at Q95. Uh, and which is now channel nine five five for you youngins. <laughs> um, and uh, it was a like they couldn't announce it till like a little bit before the show because uh, their record company was like trying to make sure they had like a concert in Toledo that, okay. that was like a week before and they were trying to pump up their tickets. So why weren't we there together? We weren't there together. I know I was I working. Weren't. I don't. I didn't know that we kind of lost touch a little bit after high school. Right. Both of our faults. Both of our faults. We're good. Uh, but, uh, yeah, that's, uh, that's probably why we weren't there. That's fine. That's probably, I didn't even know you were there. I know. It's hilarious when saying. you said that. I'm like, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait. We, we, the Edwin, Edwin McCain also played. And I got Maybe that, but that's why I probably was there. Because he was kind of a D-bag. Yeah, well, I it's had some true. kind of, like, <laughs> lame-o, like, post, well, he had that, he post had that. high school, like, yeah. love song. Was he like, kind of appealed to that girly girl I with know. the I'll be song that I, that's, I have heard yeah, a billion, billion and a half times. times. But if I probably ever hear again, I'll throw up, you know. Okay, my number one is uh, the Beatles. The Beatles. Love the Beatles. The Beatles. That's Grew up on the Beatles. Pick. My mom loves, loves, loves the Beatles. Heard them all the time. My mom's uh, favorite Beatle, ironically, is also George. Good pick, Hildy. I know, right? So, um, so the Beatles. Grew up, grew up on them, love them. Um, you can't go wrong. I, They're uh, just yeah. leaping awesome. I have their ones CD, and it's awesome. Like, I'm not a huge Beatles fan, yeah. but uh, they have some amazing songs. They really do. You know, that's a quality pick. Thanks. It's a quality pick. It is not my number one pick, but I think uh, my number one pick probably rivals... I think that people consider the Beatles the greatest band of all time. Um, but uh, the greatest front man of all time manned my number one band. I absolutely love them. Huge, huge fan. Uh, Queen. Oh, Queen! That's the a good Freddie Mercury, the greatest uh, frontman singer of all time. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, tragic, uh, short life, amazing band. Uh, yeah, just, just incredible, absolutely incredible. I cried when I was a kid when I found out that Freddie Mercury <laughs> was dead because I didn't really get into Queen until afterwards because of Wayne's World. Sure. I, well, I was just going to think Rhapsody. that's probably why, that's probably what I know them. That kind of got too. me into Queen, and right. then, like, I found out that Freddie Mercury had passed away, and it was, I think it was, they were right around the same time, within a couple years of each other, and uh, I was just like, devastated. That was it. It was over, huh? Because I wanted to see them in person, so. Oh, so it was uh, like a dream, and then it It became a dream. It's always been a dream. And anytime anybody's like, all right, top concert, three acts, whether it's band or whatever, Queen always yeah. makes the list. They always make the list. They're, like, amazing. And, um, yeah, Queen. Cool. Rock and roll Freddie Mercury forever. Uh, yeah. So, that's our list. Yeah! I have some issues with M's list, but uh, otherwise I think it's a quality pick. Uh, I love Our Lady Peace. So, yeah, I was glad I put them on there. I really enjoy yeah. that. And I will, I promise that I will YouTube Saving Abel. Yeah, they were really good. In the next year. <laughs> nice. <laughs> I'll make you listen to them later. <laughs> All right. So, I get to pick this week's topic. Next week, join us next Wednesday. Uh, same YouTube channel, same Facebook page. Uh, when we will talk about Emily's pick, which is... <laughs> what am I going to pick? We haven't done comic books yet. We have not done comic books, even though we have the... Harvey Dent coin. We have not done comic books. I'm gonna go. 
Oh, this is about to cut my heart out. Marvel superheroes. Oh, Marvel superheroes. <laughs> if you don't know, Emily and I are both big comic book fans, but Emily is a Marvel girl. I am. And I am a DC guy. Uh, and so Marvel superheroes, huh? Mm-hmm. All right. So join you us next week. Marvel superheroes will be the topic. Should be very interesting. Could create a bit of a fight between us. It may be our last episode. Uh, yeah, this may end. Uh, this may be the end of a friendship and the end of a video <laughs> podcast. So, uh, leave us your lists for favorite bands. Uh, any topics that you might think would be awesome for us to t- touch on. Yeah. Billy Madison quotes. Look for that one coming soon. Absolutely. Uh, and join us next week when we will talk about Marvel superheroes. Marvel superheroes. Ken will enjoy it. I promise. <laughs>